Here we go. Welcome back to Miss Universe 2005 Thailand. It is time for the moment that will make or break someone's chances of becoming Miss Universe. It is the final question. Now, prior to the show, we asked all of our contestants to make up a question. Minutes ago, we polled the questions written by the top five and the current Miss Universe. So what this means is that the top five will be answering questions posed by the ladies right here on this stage. In some cases, we'll be using the help of Precision Translating Services. You'll have a limited amount of time to answer before you hear the bell. <laughs> Ladies, this is your moment. The world is rooting for you. Only a billion people out there, so no feel the love. Here we go. It's on. All right, come on over, Mexico. Pull a question out of the bowl. Hand it to Billy. All right, Mexico. If you had to recommend a book to someone, what book would it be and why? And this question comes from Venezuela. La pregunta es, si la hace la concursante de Venezuela, si tuviera que recomendarle un libro a alguien, ¿a quién le recomendarías el libro y por qué se lo recomendarías? I had the opportunity to meet the writer of a book called The Story is Not Over Yet. And I would recommend this book to everyone because it really talks about how we can change our life and how we are the writers of our own story, of our own life, and that we can change whatever is in our desire to change. So I would recommend everyone to really believe in, the, in themselves reading this book. All right, Mexico, thank, thank you, you very Mexico. much. Okay, come over, Puerto Rico. This question is from Canada. What one failure in your life did you most learn from? La what pregunta one la hace la concursante de Canadá. Dime un fracaso en tu vida del cual tú has aprendido más. I can tell you that um, I think all the experiences we have in life, we just can uh, do it, um, just overpass all that. And I remember that I tried to compete in the pageant Miss Puerto Rico Universe once, and I didn't make it. And now I just thought that, oh my God, I'm going to have this opportunity again. And I just tried. I just said, like, this is for me. I think this is the moment, and I did it. I never surrender, and I think that's very important, just to learn from what you have and just go ahead and look for what you want. Thank you. Thank you, Puerto Rico. Thank you. Come on over, Dominican Republic. Reach in, choose a question. Por favor, selecciona una de las preguntas. Okay, this question comes from Miss Universe 2004, Jennifer Hawkins. What can men learn most from women? La pregunta la hace... <laughs> a lot. <laughs> la pregunta es, ¿qué cosa es lo que pueden aprender los hombres más de las mujeres? Well, I believe that men and women, we, have the, we are very different in personality as well as in physical. But I know that women, we have sensitivity. And I think every man has to be themselves, have to act as they believe, and try not to copy anybody, because that, that is what makes them a real man. Thank you. Thank you. I, I don't Thank think you. physically we're too far off, Dominican and I. <laughs> Take it easy. Coming. Here's Canada. You go ahead. Representing North America here. Your question is from the Dominican Republic. What is the biggest challenge in your life? What's the biggest challenge in your life? The biggest challenge in my life is always trying to stay positive. I consider myself the kind of person who always looks at the class half full instead of half empty. And even though sometimes in difficult times it's hard to look at it life this way, I always try to maintain a positive outlook on life. Kapoon Kat. Thank you. Thank you, Canada. Thank you very much. Come on over, Venezuela. You had a busy night here, my friend. Choose out of the two cards left there. This question comes from Mexico. What is one of the difficult situations your country is going through, and what would you do to help solve it? 
Esta pregunta la ha hecho la señorita de México. La pregunta es, ¿cuál es una de las situaciones más difíciles a través de la cual está pasando tu país y qué harías tú para resolverla? Good evening. Uh, my country, Venezuela, right now it's, um, we're in a kind of bad situation, political and um, economic talking. Um, I believe that the problem is that we are so into ourselves and, and, and we forget about helping others and, and that's one thing that I would do, just um, help each other and, and um. <laughs> Thank you. Venezuela. Ladies, fantastic job. The lucky woman who actually wins the title of Miss Universe 2005 will take off with a prize package that'll make her world spin right out of control. <laughs>